Hey what's up guys welcome back to another flutter tutorial and in this video we are going to talk about flutter for web specifically why because we are going to talk about some new widgets which are uh, shortcuts and actions and it can be useful for key bindings so what i mean is basically uh, you must have used some web application where you press something on the keyboard and it performs some action for you so far what we have seen for our application is that we just press some button in our ui and then it performs some action but now what we are going to do we will press some keyboard buttons and it will do the same job which our ui is doing right so how we will do that using those new widgets which is shortcuts and actions and uh, this is the first time I'm talking about them. So if you are good with this idea of talking about these new widgets or probably these widgets, which probably we have never touched. So press the like button right now and subscribe to the channel if you are not the subscriber already. Okay, so now if you can see, this is the same catalog app which we have been using. And one addition I have done is like if you click in any of these items, let's say PlayStation 5, then you can see that we have price over here at the bottom, $500 and add to cart button here as well but we have added one stepper as well like for increasing the quantity so by default the quantity is one if i increase it by pressing the plus button then you can see it is now one thousand dollar then it is fifteen hundred dollar if i press the minus button then it goes to five hundred dollar again if i press it double uh, or twice so uh, this is what is happening right now what i want is basically if i press let's say arrow up button on the keyboard it should directly increase the um, quantity okay or if i press the down button then it should decrease the quantity or let's say if i press the zero button then it should reset it to zero the quantity should be reset to zero so how i can do that right that is the question so it's very very straightforward you don't have to do much things so let's see how we can achieve that and it's it's very very good for flutter for web it can be very useful for you in the future so uh, first of all let's see how the uh, application is made basically you can see we have three widgets in the button bar one is the total price second is the vx stepper for uh, using plus minus buttons and then we have an add to cart button and then we are wrapping it with the VX builder, which gives us uh, the new state every time we change the button. And uh, it has a mutation called change quantity, which is kind of a method which we call to change the quantity, right? So what we have to do, first of all, we have to wrap our this widget where we want to do this change uh, with a new widget called shortcuts. So uh, we can use shortcuts. It has some properties like debug label manager shortcuts. And one of those which we want to use is shortcuts. And if you will see it clearly, then you will find that it is a, uh, it takes map of logical key set and intent. So let's, let's see how we can do that. So first thing is logical key set. So we can say logical key set. So logical key set is basically which keyboard action buttons you want to press. Okay. And what intent will be used for that. So intent is kind of an action. So logical key set is basically, for example, I want to perform some action on arrow up. Okay. So I can say uh, logical keyboard key dot arrow up. Similarly, you have all sort of things. Like if you want to do it for tab, so you can say dot tab. Um, if you want to do it for shift, then you have shift, shift left, shift right, all those things. So we want to do it for arrow up. And the second things it uh, thing it needs is basically intent. So for example, on arrow up, I want to increase the quantity. So I can make an intent called add intent. It's not yet available. We will make it, but don't worry. And similarly, I will copy this and paste it three or, or two times, two more times. And second one will be for arrow down. For it, we will create an intent called sub intent for subtraction. And the last one will be zero. So digit zero, I guess digit zero we can use and this will be for zero intent right so this is what you have to do second thing which you have to do is you have to wrap it with another widget which is actions so actions is basically to describe so shortcuts you specify that which keyboard uh, events you want to do now how you will do it right so you need actions like what you want to perform when you will press those keyboard keys right so here you will see actions dispatchers and key so we are gonna use actions and if we see what it takes is basically map of type and action with intent right so how we will use it let's create a map so first thing is type so type can be let's say add intent and uh, then uh, okay so add intent is not with us right so let's create it first so we will go on the top 
and we will create three simple classes this will be very very simple for example this is add intent and how uh, it will work will uh, it will extend intent and that's all you have to do nothing much and similarly we have created for sub intent and last one for zero intent and that's it now yeah we have we are not having any sort of error so for add intent it takes uh, something else which is action right so we can say let's say for example callback action and we have to specify the type so type is add intent only and then it give you uh, one callback which is on invoke and on invoking it basically it means that what you want to perform when you will uh, click on let's say or, or you will click on that or or I should say it you, when you will press that button on keyboard right what do you want to do so I want to change quantity so I'll call this method called change quantity and I have to pass my catalog so change quantity so catalog and the quantity so the quantity will be catalog dot quantity plus one because I I want to increase it by one right so this is my actions uh, so add intent similarly I will copy it uh, for second intent and for third intent so first second one is sub intent I'll just copy it two times and rather than plus one this time I'll say minus one for quantity and the last one is zero intent so zero intent is basically I want to set it for so the quantity will be directly become zero right and that's all you have to do basically so one thing is shortcuts second thing is actions and there's one more third thing so when your state is changing or uh, let's say I want to have some focus on or, or, or my UI will be reflected with this button bar so I will wrap it with another widget called focus so that my focus uh, my UI focus can be go uh, can go there so auto focus I'll make it true so what will happen is whenever you will press the key you can see those changes in the in that particular uh, hierarchy of widgets so uh, we are almost done so we have done shortcuts shortcuts is basically to set which key will, which keyboard key will do what and then actions like how they will do it and then focus to give them focus right so uh, so let's say if I this time press this minus oh uh, sorry arrow down so it's working I cannot show you but it's working let me try to show you in fact uh, so that let me record a video from my phone so that I can show you it's working so as you can see uh, this is this is my keyboard and I am trying to now press the arrow down button and you can see the quantity is changing over there similarly if I press the arrow up button the quantity is changing over there and now if I'll press the zero button then you will see the quantity will set to zero so uh, it's pretty much working and uh, working in a good shape uh, so yeah that's that's how you can work with these widgets guys and uh, yeah that's it's 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 as simple as it looks like here and you can add more actions and more shortcuts so it depends on you but i just want to give you an idea so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did press the like button subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon to get future updates and if you have any idea or suggestion let me know in the comments that what you want to see on this channel see you in the next video